All right, so for today's review, we are going to be taking a look at the NZG Vierkin W250i 150 scale. Uh, please note that mine, I did take the canopy off. Um, so when you get the model, it will have a canopy. Uh, it's fairly simple to take off, and I will explain that once we get to the operator's compartment. But starting off the review here, as you can see, you got a nice Vierkin logo right there. Uh, you got a nice uh, hose right here, uh, which I believe is for dust removal. Uh, I'm not too sure because um, you do when you're milling up the row there is a lot of dust created and uh, this is coming off of your feed conveyor. Um, so I believe that's what those are for. And as you can see right here you have some hydraulics that do um, control the lowering and raising of the conveyor. Um, you do have to push them kind of all the way in uh, if you would if you want it to stay up. And it does, you do have to kind of play with it a little bit. You got some cylinders right there that control your articulation. You can see right there, you got another nice W250i decal right there. I believe this is their updated version of the 250. So this is their updated beer tune logos and everything. Uh, this is, I believe, the most updated version you can get. And then coming to the um, side, uh, this part right here is adjustable. So it can come down and raise up like that uh, and then it does move side to side oh, it's nice and you do have a nice little warning decal right there uh, and you got some steps to get up to the operator's compartment right there and then coming to the back you got a nice Vierkin logo right there and you do have some opening engine compartments and you got a nice belt that's modeled right there that drives the um, milling head itself which is nice and it is rubber uh, it's nice to see that and you can kind of see a little detail into the engine uh, right there. And then the doors do shut very nicely. Coming to the rear of the model, you can see, got a nice beer kind of logo right there. I believe this is your reverse camera, so you can see what's behind you. Uh, you got a nice warning beacon right there. You got some striping right there. Uh, you got your exhaust right there. And then you do have a nice beer kind of logo right there. And then coming to this side of the machine, Got your Vierkin logo, you got your side panel control right here. Um, so you can have an operator up here and then you can have an operator down here who can control the height and uh, the machine mills at. And I believe they can also control these guards uh, on the side as well. And then right here, you can see that there is a ladder to get up to this side of the operator's compartment. Uh, and then I believe these are, kind of see them right here and right here. I believe these are mirrors. Uh, or lights. They're one of the two. I'm not really sure what they are. They're just big chunks of plastic painted silver. Um, I'm not sure if it's like that on the real machine. I haven't seen a 250i in real life, uh, but that's just how they are modeled here on the model. Um, so let's get to some of the functionality of the W250. Um, so looking up the operator's compartment, uh, you can see you do have a nice uh, monitor. It doesn't move back and forth, um, but you can see that there are two little latches uh, right here that pop out of the model. This is where your canopy is connected, where it would fold down. And then there's two more back here. Uh, if you do wish to take the model apart, uh, you just take a, like a little 1 16th drill bit uh, and you drill out the little rivets. You don't want to drill them out all the way. You just want to drill it until the rivet itself pops out. And once it pops out, you can easily remove it. Um, and then while we're up here, the engine compartment does open. One thing to note is on my model, and I believe all the other models, is it doesn't like to stay open. Uh, it's kind of a flimsy hinge, I guess, but you can see that there's, once you have it open, and if it will stay open, you do have a nice detailed engine, and it closes right back up, and as you can see, it just kind of slams back shut. Uh, and one nice thing on the model, you got these nice tracks uh, with the uh, yellow pads. I believe that is to... I believe it's, um, so it's not just a metal track. It's like a rubber pad that they can put on there. Um, so it doesn't damage row that you're not trying to mill. Uh, but the height of the machine is adjustable, which is nice. So you can adjust it to any milling operation you'd like. Uh, your conveyor does move side to side, uh, which is nice. And then you can see the rams that hold the, um, the tracks are a little loose. Uh, they're not the tightest, so if you do push a little weight, since the model is real heavy, uh, they do tend to fall down. Uh, one neat feature is this piece right here. Uh, in my model, uh, one of my cylinders is very stiff, so it doesn't like to fold up, but you can get your belt to fold up on the model, which is nice. 
uh, and then you just bring this back and it snaps into place and then one thing to note um like said earlier you can position the conveyor down for transport uh, you got some nice wheels on the end right here so when it is folded up and if you're transporting it or have it down on the ground or on the low boy it's not going to scratch the top of your conveyor up uh, which is nice it'll roll the little wheels instead of scratching it up uh, but like i said before um, to get the uh, conveyor elevated you do want to hold the belt up and then push them in otherwise you're going to push it in and they're going to push the other side in and it's just going to keep falling uh, like i said it does turn uh, which is nice and you can see you have um some linked steering on the model which is nice and then coming to the other side is your massive cutting drum with all the red tipped teeth and then you got a nice smaller belt right there uh, it's just the underside of the model uh the steering is linked which is nice it's nice it's a nice mechanism on um, the back part does uh move um and that's just that's really about it for the uh, for this model it's a nice model uh, i picked mine up for i think it was like 75 dollars or something like that uh, i feel it's well worth the uh, 75 dollars uh, for the model um it's a nice piece i i purposely got it to remove the uh canopy so if you're looking to get it and you want the canopy it's real simple to remove um i just like the look of it because around here you know you don't really see milling machines that have canopies on them it's all mostly open uh, that's just about it for this review so if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask if you'd like to see any um model reviews in the future please let me know if i haven't done one already um and if you'd like to follow my social media both things are in the description and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded